Mark, thank you very much. If you're looking to find some head and jams, you are in luck because the annual Tree Streets Yard Sale happening this weekend. Abraham McIntyre here with me to tell us more about what you can expect from this year's sale. Abraham, first of all, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. Got the Southside Pride yeah, shirt that's on. It. That's it. That's, that's right. it. Got the owls going on. <laughs> Talk about the yard sale. Over 30 years you've been putting this on, uh, offering the community a great way. Uh, for camaraderie and to find great deals. Yeah, and it's just a fun way to get out and you know meet more people and and really all the funds that are raised through the sellers that are um, the reg the registration donation is going to. Uh, we do music in the park in the the Tree Streets neighborhood. We support local projects. We have our our little free libraries. All those pieces and all those come together to be able to make our neighborhood the best it can be, and then we then are be a, you know better part of the community. So yeah, all of it comes in together. So the sellers, uh, all the people that come in to see the the Tree Streets and what it's all about. So it's just a fun, obviously a fun weekend. Give us the details uh, coming up this Saturday uh, and uh, the times and when you'll see shoppers. Yeah, so uh, officially it is open uh, on Saturday. Uh, so uh, the first Saturday after Labor Day obviously coming up. And so um, there will be people that are selling on Friday. Uh, we don't really, um, uh, you know, advertise that, but they'll be out there. And so because it's just a, a neighborhood gathering, it's not an official, you know, thing. So they can do kind of what they want to do. So, um, so if you get out early, you can do that. Um, but officially on Saturday and um, really sunrise, people are out uh, out early and, uh, and then we'll go through about three o'clock and then we, uh, a lot of our local nonprofits come through in the afternoon and are able to pick up things that aren't sold or that people want to donate. So it's really, again, a really good community project. You mentioned the sellers. If you know someone on the tree streets or you have an organization, describe how you bring in more than just the residents there on the tree streets to kind of make this an entire community event. Right. So there's a lot of people that don't live in the tree streets that are able to have friends in the tree streets and um, they'll do a little barter um, to be able to be on their, you know, on their property, be able to sell. And that's all fine. That, that works great. So we love the more people coming in. Uh, so if you know somebody, for sure, do that, family or friends. Or if you don't know somebody, you can just reach out to us on Facebook and we can um, um, there's others that are willing to, you know, provide uh, property, um, their yard to be able to sell in. And then another really, really cool part is that we have a lot of nonprofits that use this as a big fundraiser for the year. Um, our family uh, donates our land or our property for uh, Sepa Head Foundation, but um, there's education opportunities. There's um, uh, community theaters and schools and a lot of nonprofits that do that. But there's also um, the, we have a lot of uh, just food vendors that'll come out and you know we've got a great uh, group that's been across the street from us that are doing breakfast and going to lunch. So there's always food. And then there's people that just are on the corner that are playing music too. So it's a fun, again, just a great um, you know, event uh, just across the board. So you're finding uh, you know, amazing hidden gems. Uh, you're, you can eat eat really well, you can see a lot of friends, uh, meet new people, um, and just an overall uh, great experience. And it's rain or shine, so I know we just saw the weather, uh, but the, you know we go full on and it's been super hot, uh, it's been rainy, uh, it's been perfect, and we just, it always, it's always there. For, so for 34 plus years, uh, we just keep going. What's the most important thing people need to know before they head out looking for those deals this weekend? Uh, maybe bring an umbrella uh, and then, uh, you know, bring a wagon and, and, and also just being, you know, it's a fun event. And so also just keep that in mind. So you want to be nice to those who are around you. Um, it's a lot of people. There's a lot of, um, I don't know if anybody's heard, but there's a lot of construction going on yes. in, in the neighborhood in uh, Walnut Street. Um, but just be patient, have fun, be kind to each other. Um, and uh, again, just think of this as a big community event. It's it's not cutthroat or anything. So yeah, just have a lot of fun, be patient, um, be kind, and, and it, it'll, it'll go really well. Well, I appreciate all the work you do, yeah. the entire Tree Streets organization to put this on for the community. It's going to be another great weekend. Abraham, great thank weekend. you very much. Absolutely. See y'all soon. Here are the details one more time. It is the annual Tree Streets Yard Sale. It is happening officially on Saturday from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. One of the largest fundraisers for the Southside Neighborhood Association. It's happening on the Tree Streets. You can't miss it right there near downtown Johnson City.